Yeah, what I tried to shoehorn in, Dave, was that the Saints have made it official. They have inducted three new Hall of Fame. Oh, players, I didn't see this in, this into this the Saints Hall of Fame. Reggie, so you have You don't know. You don't know no. the players. I see it now. Okay, so yeah, played. Reggie Bush, obviously. Jari, 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 Jari Evans, and uh, the third one is uh, is R.I.P. Craig Ironhead Hayward. Mm. What are your thoughts on these three guys getting in? Uh, you know, I never saw Craig Ironhead Hayward play, so I, I can't wax philosophic on him, but uh, I certainly know the name. Uh, I, it sounds like he's deserving to be there. Uh, Reggie, of course. I love to see that. Um, you know, I saw a homeless guy out on the street today wearing an old Reggie Bush Jersey. Uh, but how do you know it, it wasn't a Raphael Bush jersey? I don't. I can't. Sure? I can neither confirm nor deny that. Uh, but I'm going to assume that it was a Reggie Bush jersey, and I'll be damned if I literally if that didn't take me back for a minute. Uh, and I was thinking about just all those exciting. I just, you know, he just there was like this excitement every time Reggie. Yeah, it kind of yes, it's appropriate. This is appropriate. We're, we're going to get to the Kevin Love update. There was a text message. But oh yes, but there were so many times I remember being in the Superdome, uh, and the other team's gonna punt it off or whatever, or just any time the ball was gonna get into Reggie's hands, like you never knew what was gonna happen with it. And you know, I also remember, of course, there was always the debates. Well, he runs out of bounds, or he never runs straight, or blah blah blah. Um, and there was a little bit of that, but. You cannot deny that he also did some pretty great uh, he was awesome. electric, electric things in the NHL. And then well, Jari Evans, obviously. Wait, did you just say the NHL? I don't think it so, is. but I could have. I'm oh, pretty okay. sure, yes. Thomas Ross can't can say anyone's name I've right. Got, uh, I've got, the NHL, I've got NHL playoffs on, on the brain. The Rangers, ugh, the Rangers are winning. They're leading their series. I'm not happy. Go Tigers! No, 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 no. That's not how that works. That's no, Reggie works. Reggie Bush was awesome. And, and uh, you know, when I go back and think about 2006 with him, Hate the it's, a, it's amazing to me how that first year, people were excited about Breeze, kind of, sort of, but it was all Reggie. All the hype right. was, yeah, right. like, when you went in the Dome that first year in 2006, there were very few nine breeze jerseys that right. the nine breeze jerseys kind of took it you know took took the superdome by storm i would say no pun intended in like 2008 2009 2010 like that mm -hmm. that's when it really crossed over but in 2006 2007 reggie bush jerseys were by far the most represented inside right. the stadium. I mean, not I mean, even close. When they, when they came to New Orleans, both of them, Drew Brees, you didn't know what you were getting. He was an X yeah. factor. He was coming off the shoulder sh surgery. Uh, Reggie Bush, you knew exactly what you were getting. Uh, you saw the highlights, the USC highlights. Uh, you couldn't believe that Texas passed on him. Uh, first of all, was that also like the last year where you knew who was going to be drafted first, like before the draft. I mean, each year is different. I think th this, I know, but I don't Trevor, Trevor Lawrence, everyone knew he was going first. Yeah. But it was never like a fish, like the year Reggie Bush was drafted, like before the draft, there was a, like the, didn't the, the Texans like officially announced they were taking Mario Williams, didn't they? Yeah. I, I feel like, and I don't half, think that's ever been an hour before it happened. We uh, we got clued in that that's what was going to happen. Oh, I thought this had, no, I thought this was like days in advance. I, maybe I so. It. Maybe so. I, I could be I, wrong. I this could be like the like, We're getting Reggie Bush. That that's crazy. Um, but yeah, no. Look, Reggie. I, I think in some ways you would say that Reggie didn't live up to the hype, you know, of being that second overall pick for the Saints. But how could he? You know, I, I think anything right. short of being Barry Sanders, and he wasn't going to live up to the hype. But Reggie was a good player in his own right for the Saints. He was explosive. He was a weapon that forced you to account for him, which I think created opportunities for other players. Um, but I, I almost think Reggie could have been better with the Saints than he was. Uh, but uh, there's no denying the, the hype, the excitement, and, and, and just the timing of it all. Uh, for him to come to the Saints with, when he did, such an exciting player, uh, it, it really was. It, it's great to see him in there, and, and he was just an all-around good dude. I remember meeting him as a rookie. Um, meeting him at uh, 
Republic of all places. No, not of all places. That sounds just about right. That's, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> and he was drinking. He was right. drinking a white Russian, and uh, I I offered to buy him a drink. It it was so awkward. I remember going up to him and being like, "Hey, can I buy you a drink?" And he just like <laughs> he looks at his drink and it's like completely full. And he's like, "I, I mean, he's like, I would take one, but like I I, I got I got a drink." <laughs> he's like, "You might have to wait a while." It's so, move, uh, but, but I talked to him for a while. He was super nice, super friendly. Uh, but um, yeah, no, J- Jari Evans, that one to me is the one that probably makes the most sense. He, of these three, by far the most accomplished. You know, there right, maybe right. wasn't the hype because he was a guard, not sexy, right. but like right. Jari Evans is by far the best player and he, he's a first ballot and maybe yeah. the best. I mean, I don't think it's a maybe. He's the best guard in Saints history. He was, uh, yeah, he was an anchor for that offensive line for all those years when they were so damn good. Uh, I have two, when, 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 when I think of Reggie Bush, though, I have two random, two totally random memories that come to my mind. One is when they, <laughs> one is the fact that when the Saints won the Super Bowl, he was dating Kim Kardashian. I don't know if anybody remembers that <laughs> because he was there before Pete Davidson, before Kanye, there was Reggie. All right. You, you remember that he wasn't before uh, Ray J, though. Nah, no, no, I don't believe he was. Um, <laughs> you shoot your dick off. But uh, so I always remember. I remember being at in Miami at the Super Bowl and seeing like Kim Kardashian and Chris uh, Jenner like back in the tunnel area or whatever outside the locker room. But my second memory is his 2006. His his I, why do I want to say see his not freshman year his rookie year uh obviously there was all this hype he still hadn't gotten his first touchdown yet everybody was waiting every he was he was returning punts every time there was a punt that he was out there returning it got exciting and i think it was week three week four maybe maybe even week five uh i think we were playing the buccaneers at home and he was on punt return and he finally broke one loose and that was his first touchdown and the place went freaking crazy and i th- i think was he did it a second that, time in that, that game that the one where he was kind of like raising his hands at the crowd letting everyone know to chant his name and, and like before the punt yeah. return every, yes. the whole stadium was going reggie yeah, reggie yeah. and, and, and like he, you, you could feel that he was yes. going to do this again and then he did it he did it a second time right yeah yes, yes. But what I remember, but my memory, what my biggest takeaway from that night, though, and I think it's kind of telling, was uh, everybody was so excited that even the ball guy, the guy who works, he doesn't work for the league, he's like a volunteer or whatever, but he's on the sidelines, and he's the guy that carries all the extra footballs and hands it to the refs, and also the guy that holds the down marker or whatever. Yeah. They were caught in a picture. They were celebrating as Reggie was returning his that first uh, punt return for a touchdown. They're supposed to be neutral. They, they're they working technically for the NFL, but they're local guys, and they're technically Saints fans. And they were caught, at, and they got in trouble. And I think they got, like, fined, or the team got, or the Saints got fined because these guys were celebrating because they were so freaking excited. That was that sums up the excitement. Look this up. I get, I remember this. I remember this for a fact. I remember the picture. One of them That's was that funny. short little guy who wears glasses. He's still there. He still does the same job. I see him every single of game. Of all the life. shit that you could remember. Yes, that, I know. That's Isn't that Reggie crazy? Reggie Bush story? Yes, the that's my man. Reggie Bush story. Yeah, I, that is my Reggie Bush story. But that sums up just the excitement that everybody had. Like, everybody was freaking out. They were waiting for this first touchdown, and it was kind of like the floodgates finally opened and he got tons of touchdowns. Yeah, I remember the Minnesota. Remember the Minnesota game? Didn't he have two punt return yeah. in that game as well? And we lost that game because of what's his face? The kicker. Grammatic. Yeah, Shut up. Grammatic. Yeah. Uh you know, I, I remember obviously 2009 the, the bring the bat, bring the wood game where he went off against the Cardinals and probably had the best game of his career in that playoff game against the Cardinals. Uh, and then also when Gary Hartley made the kick against the Vikings, uh, if you watch the Saints DVD, yeah. the video, I love that he's running around and he runs into gumbo. Like he's celebrating. He's like, yeah, yeah. And then he just like accidentally runs into gumbo who is also celebrating and just like they don't lock eyes or whatever. And he just completely runs him over. <laughs> he ragdolls gumbo who just like obviously was a human being about the size of Reggie. And Reggie just 
bounces off him and continues running and celebrating. Doesn't even realize he's run over the mascot, and uh, the mascot falls to the ground. It was, it was terrific. Uh, but we we should. Uh, I'd be remiss in not quickly uh, talking about Craig Ironhead Hayward as well. Um, he was a battering ram. Uh, I, his running style. I remember playing with him first of all in Super Tech Mobile, and, and I would love to run the fall, ball with him on, in that game because he had a, a tremendous amount of hit power. And so, like, if you ran the ball with high iron head, you couldn't really tackle him. Like, dudes would just bounce off him. And so you could get, like, a 50-yard run, and, like, you'd hit, like, seven dudes, and they'd all just bounce off him because of his hit power on that game. So he was, he was a terrific runner on that game to have. But I mean, that's kind of how he played in real life. You know, he was very, very difficult to tackle. But he had a very odd, like, he was supposed to be a fullback. There goes Dave to the bathroom. Right. Someone said this in the chat earlier, by the way, when you yeah. when you left the room just now. I literally just went out to the you, other room. And yeah, came you right left, back in. but like someone in the chat was saying, no, "I know, this, like, I can't. Hey, Dave can't leave today." No, I know, I can't. You don't leave have you. this I luxury. Be, I know, I got to be your wingman. Yeah, but um, you know, so he he kind of had a fullback body, so he looked like he should be more of like a blocker, right? Like a like a Mike Carney lead blocker. But he was absolutely a, a runner. He, he was a tailback. He was fast. He could catch. Um, he kind of did it all, and, and he, he was very tough to tackle. And he was a very exciting player to watch. Uh, and what, by years the way, was this? what years was this? This was like in the Dalton Hilliard era, so like late 80s, early 90s. Um, okay. And he played for Mora. And uh, you know, oh, so he okay. was on those teams that would make the playoffs but couldn't, couldn't win those games. Uh, Craig Hayward, by the way, is another one of those Morton Anderson, Bobby Bear, Joe Horn, Brett Maxey, uh, the, the dreaded defector to the Falcons. Um, not only did he defect, but was very good for the Falcons. I think he probably had his best, best year of his career with the Falcons, and he tore up the Saints. He tore them up pretty good when he played for them. Uh, but, but he was great for the Saints, and uh, you know, obviously his son, he passed away. Uh, I remember when he passed away, he had a, I think he had a tumor in his head, uh, ironically enough, but he, uh, he passed away and I remember him saying that, yeah, he was going in for the surgery and that he was really afraid of death. And you know, he was kind of like a really vulnerable moment for a guy that felt kind of indestructible in his career and, uh, things didn't go well with the surgery and he, he did pass away. Um, but his son, obviously Cameron Hayward, who is with the Steelers now, I, I really wanted the saints to draft him. Uh, when he was in the draft, but uh, he he's having a tremendous career and he goes to the Pro Bowl, and so uh, there there is uh, Hayward lineage that continues in the NFL. I have no idea that was his son. That's his son. Yep. Thanks for watching the Saints Happy Hour. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, then find us wherever you get your podcast, and finally go to SaintsHappyHour.com and become a patron of the best Saints podcast on earth.